the Olympic champions, the far side of the court in the yellow shirts, Lee Yongdae and Lee Ho Jung, the number one seeds. They are the players the crowd have come to see. Won that Olympic gold medal in Beijing when they were unseeded as a pair. They beat the number one pair in the world in the final. Nova Widianto and Liliana Natsiet. That's a wonderful block from Yu Yong Siong. Guiding the shuttle across court. Well, she really struggled to find her form in the women's doubles final, did Lee Ho Jung. Oh, just missed it. Otherwise, that would have been an outright winner. Oh, brilliant. Lee Yong Day. Olympic champion at the age of just 20. Incredible talent. Not only incredible talent, so physically strong for such a young man. have a shot. Yes, the shot I was talking about in the middle of that rally, that little half-court push, pushing it past the net player, but still leaving it landing in front of the rear court player. That's such an important shot, especially in mixed doubles. Uh, that long reach of the tall lady. She's one meter 81. In fact, taller than her partner by a centimeter. Inspired shot. He's become a star during these Asian Championships. Has Yu Yong Siong. I remember watching this young Korean pair, the pair in. The white shirts reached the semi-final of the Japan Super Series event last year. I was very impressed with them then. And I'm all even more impressed with them now. No, oh, it's that little half-court push again. So effective. Yeah, it's gone past Lee Ho Jung. Landing in front of Lee Yong Day. Perfect shot in doubles. That's a clever smash from Lee Yong Day across the body of Kim Ming Jung. Look, she's waited, committed to that forehand defence, aimed towards her left hip. And she got all tangled up with her defensive shot. Just allowing you to test out the new racket.
Oh, that's loose. Yeah, got what it deserved. Lee Young Day appeared to be in two minds. That shot didn't step in and take it as he usually does. missed it such a good rally and it's all level Wild. Yeah, just apologizes to his partner. They had the Olympic champions on the run. Look, they're pulled way out of position. And into the lead for the first time in this opening game, the Olympic champions. But not for long. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Guiding the shuttle across court. Uh, well worked rally. Smash down the centre of the court from Lee Yong Day, getting his partner involved, narrows the angle of reply. And here comes the big power smash down the centre, and therefore an opportunity for Lee Ho Jung to get involved. Great athleticism. Only formed their partnership in 2007. In fact, they only played five tournaments together including the Swiss, which they won. And for their opponents, Yu and Kim formed their partnership at the Mongolian satellite event in 2006, and they won that one. It was definitely the right idea. Yeah, trying to play the backhand block. There was a big gap across court. Good judgment. Lee Yong Day just lets the shuttle drop long of that back line. It's their fourth final of the year for the Olympic champions. Already won the Korean Open. Runner up at the Malaysian Super Series event as they were at the Swiss Super Series. This is a good rally. 
change of pace. Oh, took too much time. Lacked the commitment to step forward. Waiting for the shuttle to come to him rather than really committing with his movement forward. And I wonder if he's a little bit tired from all the matches he's played this week. Two events, two finals. Uh, that's a brilliant serve. Disguise on the flick. And they've opened up a five-point cushion. seems to be one-way traffic at the moment too much attacking play from the Olympic champions oh great play oh it's just wide what a rally Oh, that really was some terrific badminton. But for the unseeded combination, I think they've got to somehow get themselves in an attacking position. They're not going to win this match by defending, not against the class of the Olympic champions. Yeah, now's the opportunity. That gives it away too easily. One smash and the defensive shot from Lee Yong Day driven back and immediately got himself on the attack. Oh, that's a lovely shot. Oh. Unbelievable. That had just about everything. Both pairs vying for the attacking play. And in the end, it was a moment of inspired genius from Lee Yong Day that made the difference. Well, quite frankly, with a rally like that as opponents, you have to say to yourself, what on earth have I got to do to win a rally against them? Olympic champions, brilliant. Yeah, that's nice too. Two points from this opening game. Once again, the judgment is immaculate. Eight game points now for the number one seeds. And they only needed the one. 
21-12. Having been 6-8 down. Suddenly turned down the power. And when they did that, they were absolutely superb. Confirmation of the score, 21-12, opening game. Well, the crowd here in Suwon have come to see the Olympic champions perform and they're not being disappointed. And Lee Yong Day, just 20 years of age. Oh, good net shot return. Well, the crowd don't mind that it's two Korean play pairs playing off against one another. Still highly involved, loving the spectacle. A good backhand interception from Lee Ho Jung. hoping that a change of shuttle might bring a change of fortune. Good start to the second game by the Olympic champions. And starting as they left off the opening game in tremendous form. Good rally. decision costing her dear was going to leave it by the time she decided to play it was far too late that was a little look oops Spring's gone in bracket, I think. Leong Day, yeah, he goes off for another racket. Unbelievable. 
And what was so remarkable about that, not only did he charge off court to get a new racket, his partner was well aware of what was happening, put in a big high clear, give him time to come back. Well, what do you do against this sort of form and this sort of inspiration? Another racket ready just in case four strings break. Oops. Trying to be a little too clever there. Lee Hong Day. Certainly not deceiving his opponent. Frustrated with herself there. Last Korean winners of this mixed doubles title at the Asia Badminton Championships. I've got to go back to 2001 when the event was staged in Manila in the Philippines. They've guaranteed the title here today, though. credit to you and Kim because they're not allowing their opponents to totally dominate this second game keeping in touch That's oh, such a good serve. Shuttle skimming over the net. Oh, goodness me. They go to the break. Mid-game interval with a six-point advantage. And it really is incredible. Just a moment ago, I said how well you and Kim were doing to keep in touch. 5-7. Uh, and at that precise moment, the Olympic champions have just piled on the pressure. Surged ahead. Seven five second game having taken the first twenty one twelve. Now it's wide. It's very fast and furious rallies. Exciting dynamic stuff. Yeah, good judgment. A couple of errors now from Lee Ho Jung. Twenty-one, 
28-year-old from Pusan City. Very well played in the end from Kim Ming Jung. A defensive shot there. That one was extraordinary though from Lee Young Day. So too is that shot. This time from his partner. And I think until they won the Olympic title, I think that Lee Ho Jung was vastly underestimated as a mixed doubles player. <laughs> Landed in. Misses a shot and he's very disappointed in himself. Snatched at that a little. The opportunity was there for Kim. She was trying to play the right shot. Just wanted to take the pace out of the shuttle. But just dragging it down into the net. Once again, these flat, fast exchanges. It's dynamic to watch. Oh, that's brilliant. Well, it was the interception from Lee Ho Jung that set up the rally. And suddenly, as so often happens with these great champions, at exactly the right moment, they've put the pressure on. Good defence. Yeah. And perhaps Lee Yong Day getting a little bit frustrated that he's unable to play his usual winners, such as the quality of his opponents. Rare error from him. Super play. Just three points the deficit now.
This is a very good rally. Yeah, Lee Yong Day. So much confidence in his partner from the back of the court that he was just happy to let her play half a dozen shots from the back while he hovered around the front for the right moment to intercept to make the difference. Mopped of the perspiration. Players ready. Brilliant. The hard flat push and then the delicate little block from Lee Ho Jung. There's the power play, then the little change of pace. Perfect. She came to the net at exactly the right moment. Great anticipation. And the umpire not allowing Lee Yong Day to have a towel down at the side of the court. has gone in his racket again. But he didn't need to play any shots. <laughs> Lee Ho Jung finished the rally for him. Yeah, I just want to test the new racket. Uh, big smile in the end from Yu Yang Siong because he knew that his opponent had broken the strings of his racket, but they just couldn't get it away from Lee Ho Jung. So the Olympic champions just two points away from their second title of the year. Throng of the back line. Six match points. Not yet. Oh, it's called out. I wondered if it had touched the racket of Lee Ho Jung. The Olympic champions have put on a first rate display of controlled aggression of mixed doubles. They add the Asian title to that of the Olympic title that they won last year. It is their second title of the year. Of course, they won the Korean Super Series event in January. And now they've taken the Asian Badminton Championships here in Suwon in South Korea.